Hi, and welcome to Colossus, an advanced workout planning and tracking system meant for advanced users to have all their workout management system centralized in one place. In this case, Notion. The first thing that you will see here on the landing page is the usage guide. And this guide enables you to understand this program and system better. With a walkthrough video that you're watching right now, a blog post where I explain the rationale and key concepts behind this whole system, some frequently asked questions, and a form that you can fill out if you have any questions, need help, or you want to provide me with feedback. And keep in mind that you can find the link to the template in the description of this video. While the core database is here and the workout dashboard are essential components of the system, the reference parts are just databases that show training movements and body parts related to those movements. And those are just databases for you to have a reference guide if you want to pick some training movements from the database and understand the anatomy of the body by referencing the body parts database. So if we open the training movement database, for example, that's a table where there are 64 exercises broken down into type, compound or isolation, and divided into body part, so which muscles they train, together with a link to proper execution of each exercise. And here you can find both weighted exercises and body weight exercises. And you can also see them by body part on this database view here. And finally, the body parts database has each body part or muscle area, lower body or upper body, a visual representation of the anatomy of that body part and all the exercises linked to that muscle group. And so movements and body parts are just reference databases that you can consult if you need any inspiration or help, for instance, when designing your training sessions or you wanna look up how to execute a movement properly, you can do so in those databases. So now let's dive into the three core databases and the workout dashboard to understand their structure and how to use them properly. And let's start from the training objectives. And that's the highest level of resolution. The first thing that we do when setting up our programs and sessions is we define our fitness objectives. And when it comes to objectives, as it is usual consensus, we want to be as specific as possible. But usually in fitness, objectives might just be falling into three main buckets. There is hypertrophy or muscle gain, there is fat loss, and there is body recomposition. And these examples here are exactly about that. But the precise number for fat loss or hypertrophy depends on your particular need. And so the training objectives database has two main views, a gallery view, where each objective is a card, and the timeline view, where we can see if we switch to the yearly view, we can see all of the objectives lined up in a um, nice timeline with the duration as well. And this can help us understand our hero's journey towards the fitness inspiration that we had. So when creating a new objective, it is key to use the template available on this database. And the template is this one, new objective. So when setting up a new objective, we can call this the objective name must be as descriptive as possible and as precise as possible in your aim. There is the icon that's automatically given. You may add a cover if you want. And then there is a start date. So the start date of the objective. And in this case, um, the start and end date signify a bit of a mesocycle in fitness terminology 
which means on every given time span, you will work on a different objective. And so on two or three months, you might aim at losing fat, but then after the fat loss period, you might want to get into a maintenance state. So aiming at body recomposition and eating at a maintenance calories. So to reduce the stress on your body and nervous system. So the first thing that you do is you define the start date to work on this objective. So let's say we start on January 3rd and the end date for this objective or macro cycle will be March 27th. So in 83 days, we aim at losing 10 pounds of fat. So it's a progressive, quite slow, uh, but sustainable fat loss journey here. And then there is a relation to the programs database, but when setting up a new objective, unless we already have some programs established, we just leave this empty here because programs will be the next step to set up in this system. So when using the objectives template, we have some predefined sections. The first one being, what is this objective about? And here you can write down a precise description of your objective. Why are you doing it? What's your intention? And the more precise you can be, the better it is because you can define your goal very precisely. And this helps you increase the chances that you will achieve your goal. And then there is why are you choosing this objective? And so by specifying the reason, you can start with why as Simon Sinek would put it. And by having a clear why in your mind, you can push forward also during tough times. Next up, there is a section dedicated to all the training programs related to this objective. And finally, training sessions for this wider objective. So each objective might have one or multiple training programs and each training program will have multiple training sessions. So there is a one-to-many relation cascading down from objectives all the way to sessions. So we have created the training objective and now let's create the training program directly from here. And let's suppose for now, we just have one program for this objective and we can set it up right here on this objective dashboard under the programs section. And for training programs as well, here you, you can see that this is a linked database, which is a training programs database linked here and using a filter that is automatically applied thanks to the template. So let's create a new training program linked to this objective. So that's the example training program name. The objective is fat loss 10 pounds, the time frame. So let's suppose this program will start on January 3rd and will last for about six weeks. So let's toggle on end date and then scroll to February and February 13 is the estimated end date of the program. So the duration is 41 days for this program. And you can see that here there is a progress bar that's automatically updated based on the training sessions completed for this program. And there is another formula that says skipped. And this might be useful later on once we are into the program and especially once we have concluded the program to view how many training sessions we skipped for this program. And this is a useful tool for data analytics to understand how many sessions we skip and whether this impacts our achievement of the broader objective. So by choosing the template here, we have a table of training sessions, the training sessions for this program, for the fat loss terminator. And so from here, we can set up all of the training sessions that we have. And the training sessions are the very last, most imminent level of resolution of the system. This is the actionable step. It's the task in a 
project management system. The training session is what you perform on a daily basis or at least three or four times a week or however many times you train in a week. And so from here, you have a table view as well as a calendar view, which might be very useful to plan the training sessions. And from here, you can set up your sessions for this program. For example, let's say the first session will be full body session related to the fat loss terminator program. The date is January 3rd, that's the first session, and the done checkbox will only be checked from the workout dashboard once you have completed this session. And here as well, we have a template. So you can notice that all of the master databases have templates here, training objectives, training programs, and training sessions. All of them have templates. And this enables us to have a predefined structure to work with, hence saving time and making sure that everything is related. So here we are at the session level. So this is full body A for the fat loss terminator program. And in, on this table, we can set up all the exercises. So let's say the first movement would be squat, three sets, eight reps with one minute, 30 second rest. RP, which is rate of perceived exertion, uh, which means how hard basically at an intensity level you intend to perform the exercise. And this is a scale from zero to 10. Uh, and let's say this is an eight. But of course, if you don't need this RP um, column here on this training session table, you can delete this column from the template. So you can just go to training sessions database and click on the three dots on the template and you can just delete this column from here if you think you will not use it. But for now, let's go here and let's resume our session planning. So the weight property is for tracking purposes. So you will just add the weight after the workout if you want to keep track of it because of progressive overload. And that's particularly fundamental when you are in a hypertrophy journey. So when your goal is to gain muscles, you will benefit a lot from tracking weight and seeing that progression over time on the same exercise, especially if you're not a beginner. And notes might be links to executions or any notes for tempo training or execution notes that you might have for each exercise. And so the first movement is squats, then you might have hip thrust. It resets the reps, I mean, on rest, P10, and so on and so forth. You can add as many exercises as you want. So this is the action canvas where you will also track your workout at the end of it. You might notice that there is some overhead in terms of time effort at the very early stage of setting up this whole system, because we start from defining your objective, going through the training program, and especially setting up all the training sessions for a program is rather time consuming at the beginning. You can think of this as an investment. So at the beginning, you invest some time to plan. And then after that, it's all about execution on a weekly basis, on a session basis. The key component of the system is the session level. The key thing is that you perform the training sessions as you plan them so that you can achieve the final objective. So sessions are the process. And the process is key in order to achieve the broad objective at the end of the day. So executing on sessions is the key thing that you need to focus on on this system. And finally, let's get into the workout dashboard because that's where you will spend the majority of your time, where really action takes place. And that's a dashboard. 
which means it shows contextual information from those databases that we saw earlier, objectives, sessions, and programs. In particular, at the top, you have quick links to the master databases of this system, so objectives, programs, and sessions. Next up, that's where you will focus most of your attention, which is today. And that's where your session of the day will show up. It's got this red dot, which means this session is meant to be done today, but you haven't performed it yet. So let's say I've just come back from a workout and I want to keep track of it. And so I will open this page and now the done checkbox is checked and you can see that the dot becomes green. And then here I will have the list of the exercises as we, as we saw them earlier in a table and I can keep track of the weight or the number of reps that I did, if it's a body weight exercise, that's totally fine as well, or the time, if it's a, it's a NEBS or a time-based exercise. And once it's done, we've got this green dot, which indicates you have done your work for the day. And here you can see a pipeline of the week's workouts. So in this case, I can see that for this week, there are three workouts left in my program. And so tomorrow I will have this one coming up here, moving from this week to today. And I can focus my attention right there. And finally, there is a training calendar. So while here at the very top, you execute and you focus on the weekly view, on the calendar, you are able to step back and look at the big picture from above. And here you have a monthly view instead of all of your training sessions and you can see them here you can also see which sessions you did and which ones you didn't do and this can help you maybe move sessions around or understand better how many sessions you are missing usually and what you can do to improve this in order to achieve the wider objective and once you populate the training sessions, this calendar will become full of sessions, which is what we want, because that's key to have a bird's eye view of everything that's going on at the planning level, and then execute at the weekly and daily level on the top section of the dashboard. And that is really it. That's the Colossus workout planning and tracking system. And those are all its components. Eventually, and ultimately, action is what matters. Executing on training sessions is what matters. And planning with an intentional and calm and realistic approach at the very beginning can be incredibly useful. It can clear up cognitive space to execute sessions because you don't need to guess all the time what exercises you're gonna execute on any given day, but you can just focus on following the program. And that's what you stick to. And then you vary programs over time. And you can see the tree growing and you can see yourself achieving the objective that you once wrote down in the system, but then now you actually achieved in real life. Execution is key. A clear planning system can just aid you in achieving the goal because you lay everything out on a page, on a digital dashboard, on a digital system, and you relate everything with each other to make sure that you have a clarity of view and you can invest your time on what matters, execution and following the process that will lead to the higher objective over time. Thank you for watching and see you soon.